try out this new stuntman mount that I got for the GoPro. It actually mounts on your shoulder, or you can mount it on your side, or you can mount it on your waist. I'm gonna try that out versus a good old head strap mount for the GoPro. Decide which one I like better. Yeah, I just do a little bit of action. I know bowling is like an extreme sport, so I'd love to see something kind of chill to give a feel for the two different mounts see which one I like better. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get one of these strapped up and give it a, a check out, see how this goes. All right, first up, we're gonna try out the stuntman. I got it mounted on the shoulder. I don't know how, about, how I feel about all these straps. If it was hot in the summertime, I don't think I'd like it very much, but it's a little bit different perspective than an actual like, chest mount or helmet mount. So we'll give this a try and see how it works. Also, I'm a terrible bowler, so you get to laugh at me while I'm bowling too. Yo, Dad, here's her. One thing I noticed right away about this mount is the way it clamps into place. I'll show you a close up of it later. But the way it clamps, it's got like a variable clamp. It's got a ball and another ball, and then there's only one screw. So we can go up, down, left, right, side to side, twist it all around. It's got so much variation in it, and you can't get the screw very tight. I really question doing anything like going for a run or a bike ride, that it's actually gonna stay straight and stay steady and in the direction you want it to, but it's not just gonna flop around or even possibly come loose. So I'm not real thrilled about this. And I find even just pushing the, the shutter button to start the camera, that it's, I can almost like knock it out of a shape like that. So trying to go for a mountain bike ride like this, not terribly optimistic. So that's why I thought also bowling might be a good chance to, to give this uh, something not very extreme. stuntman down on my waist and the camera's off to the side uh, my problem with this I expected anything with your arms it's gonna be blocking the camera so I feel like this is gonna be pretty much a useless angle or a useless place to mount the camera but I'm gonna give it a try and see how it does and I'm pulling right-handed on a bike ride or anything you gotta have your arms right in front of the camera so to me that's pretty much useless so we'll try it Also, I'm a terrible bowler. That was a dad who says he's terrible at bowling, but he's really also better girls than are dad. better at bowling. They're better. Thank you. 
All right, now I've got it mounted as a chest mount, which I suppose is kind of similar to a GoPro chest mount, but those will hold it closer against your chest. This ends up sticking out a little bit, so we'll give it a try. I think it's just going to be a similar picture, though. Let's see some bullying. The chest mount was unobstructive. The chest mount didn't get in the way. I'll bet that probably gets a good picture. Now I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro head mount and see how we like that versus these other mounts. Put the because then it's gonna make Switched over now. I got the GoPro head mount. Uh, gonna try this versus the other perspectives. You know, one thing I noticed with the, the head mount, you can't really wear a hat frontwards. You gotta even put it on backwards or take it off. I've also noticed in the past I get a nice indentation on my forehead, which looks ridiculous. And you just look kind of dumb with the GoPro mounted on your head versus the shoulder. Looks pretty cool, but this is much easier to get straight and you're only talking about one axis turning it and tilting it to get it aimed correctly versus you got every axis possible when it's mounted on that other stuntman mount so it's really easy to screw it up and like i said you can only tighten it down i tighten it down as hard as i possibly can and it still seems like it's flexible so i'm not real thrilled about that i just feel like going mountain biking i'm gonna get done and my it's gonna be flopped off to the side and my footage is gonna be terrible. All right, so we're gonna try this now with the, uh, the head mount. Here you go. Hey, Daddy. Question? Daddy, you're too selfie stick, girl. Guys, he has three pins left. That's so cool. He got the spare. All right, so one big plus, of course, with the head strap, though, it's completely out of your way. It's not strapped all over your body. It's not going to, like, inhibit your breathing if you're working out hard or something. But, I don't know, it doesn't look as cool. You know, each one has its pluses and its minuses. I like them both. I don't know. I think I got to try something more extreme, like uh, going for a run or a mountain bike ride or something like that versus uh, just bowling but uh, this is a fun little experiment to try it out and try both things to compare them got it All right, so did the test at the bowling alley comparing the GoPro head strap, GoPro name brand. Like I said, the axis could only go back and forth. So then it's just a matter of you know where you position this thing on your head. And it's pretty easy to get it straight versus the mount on the stuntman. So the stuntman mount, like I was describing in the video, it's got this double articulated ball there's one here and a second one here then there's only one crank that tightens them down so you've got your gopro mount but because it's so loose this thing can go any which way it it just it can go any direction and you can only make this crank so tight so i can just see how 
during any kind of activity. It's not really going to stay it's very secure. I'm going to email the manufacturer and see if there's any solution to make these balls tighten up or a stronger crank maybe to really lock this thing down. In the meantime, I just don't know how much that I would use this. I really, I like the picture of the GoPro. The focus from the, the head mount was better and the chest mount on this, it was okay. I think the GoPro style chest mount, actually it holds it tighter to your body. I think it's easier to probably get it straight. And again, you're only working with one axis instead of 360 degree motion possible. So there's a lot less room for error. Um, not terribly impressed with this. It wasn't overly expensive. And like I said, I'm gonna email the manufacturer, see what can be done to tighten this mount up, if anything, but not overly thrilled with it. And then some of the other footage was done with the Osmo Mobile 3. Love this thing. It's a great gimbal. If you got one and didn't get a tripod with it, you're going to want a tripod. I do apologize for the poor camera angles when I was speaking in the video. Uh, there was a low table by the bowling alley, so you're looking upwards at me. Not very flattering. It is what it is. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope somebody got some good information comparing the Stuntman and the GoPro. Um, if you like the content, give us a like, comment, subscribe. Sure appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Hello, homies. Happy Brother Who. Who gets spare any second now? So my turn. Oh, I want to go. Let's do this.